A couple of weeks ago, I posted this on my story and I was asking you guys to send me some projects where I could review and kind of see if I could do some tweaks or some touches to improve the whole render. And this guy submitted this work. Let's take a look at it. So the first thing I noticed here is that the lighting is really not doing the scene justice. And also the camera work is just kind of... Mm, not it i mean the camera feels a bit robotic moving from the left to the right let's see if we can do something to improve the entire sequence i'm not going to change much about the scene i'm just going to adjust the lighting and just the camera i want to keep it as original as it is this is the project in unreal first thing this is really messy so i need to fix this entire outliner guys come on that looks much better now. I noticed sometimes you get this artifacts and this weird thingies in Unreal Engine when you're using ray tracing. Just put in this command and set it to zero and hit enter and all these shadows will be fixed. Oh my God. The next thing I'm gonna do is just delete all the lighting in this scene because I'm not really a fan of this. It just goes out, boom. My first purchase in Unreal Engine was this plugin called Ultra Dynamic Sky. If you don't know what it is, you gotta get on it because it's the best lighting system in Unreal Engine. I'm just gonna take that and drag it in here. And already we have something that looks much better. This is the sequence we currently have with my new lighting. Let me just create a new sequence, create a camera for it. And for my camera settings, I usually like to use the IMAX 70mm and then set my crop to 16 by 9 put the focal length on 35 for this sync. The next I'm gonna do is kind of adjust this water in here. So you can, it goes all the way back, all the way in this area something like this i think something like this works i just want a simple animation for this because there's not too much happening in this environment so just a little pun in and that's it yeah i think 150 frames is good just set the transform just create a simple keyframe And then move my camera just this way like this and then i'm gonna use linear keyframes of course something like this yeah i think that works i'm gonna get rid of the z axis because it looks like the camera is going up i don't want it that way i just want it to be on the same height so i'm just gonna copy this 146 and then put it here as well 146 nice yeah that works next thing to do is add a post processing volume in there like this simple drag and drop and i'm gonna turn off the exposure settings in my ultra dynamic sky there so i have total control of my exposure i'm gonna put this on auto exposure basic compensation on min min max minus one and one and then I can kind of tweak the exposure values in here. Let's adjust the position of the sun because this doesn't look too good. I'm just going to type sun in my ultra dynamic sky. And let's adjust the sun angle. See what kind of looks good. Verticality down so we kind of have a little bit of sunset going on in there. kind of like when the sun hits this cabin over here yeah i think something like this works and i'll turn on volumetric fog there. Wow. that kind of looks nice and i think i would add another tree closer to the camera it just kind of adds a bit more depth in there yeah something like this looks good he has this mesh in here as a landscape but in the Unreal Market, when you search up backgrounds, you kind of have these meshes, which in my opinion looks way better. Look for a mountain in there and just drag it in here. Just kind of put it back here. Let me just get rid of this. Yeah, that looks nice. Just adjusting the sun angle because I'm not too happy with what we have my focus is still on this area yeah something like this looks good the last thing i'm gonna do is add a bit of camera shake so kind of looks a bit realistic i'm gonna keep tweaking maybe 0 0.1 it's subtle but it makes a difference i'm still not happy with the sky
two hours later. I think that is it for Unreal Engine. I'm gonna put it in DaVinci, post process it and see how it looks. All right, so after some post processing in DaVinci, this is what we have. Um, let me know what you guys think if we improved this render. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. If you want to submit your work, just send me a DM. I'll be sure to take a look at it.